everybody. I've got some. I've got some good news. What? what? It's better. Oh, oh fabulous! Thank news. the Lord. Thanks it's the very Lord. interesting because this kennel cough that was like, which is being sick and things. This is ten days from start to finish, and this oh. morning we woke up and it was gone. Yeah. Oh, what did it give her? What did what helped it? Well, first of all, the, I mean, I, I was giving her some um, uh, honey, a glycerin honey and lemon. You know that medicine that we used yeah. to have when we were kids. So yes. I gave her a little bit of that, and I was giving her um, a manuka honey with with hot water, and I was giving her this most of the time. But she was because she didn't like it. Obviously, this must be a bit too sweet for them because they don't usually have yeah. stuff that sweet. She'd move her head. And of course, she poor <laughs> thing. She's been covered in all of this sticky stuff, as you can imagine. Oh, Try to get that down. Also, she had to eat very soft food like pasta and yes. very soft things to eat. Um, and so the cough got better and better. Excuse but me, darling. That, did you, darling? Did you cook for her? Please don't mention that word. <laughs> but did I you cook pasta you. for the dog, darling? Yes. No, I want to know. Harriet. Did you actually cook? She does. She cooks. She cooks for the dogs, but not herself. You it's that. almost you like. She goes into a different mode. She's a different person. Yeah. She cooks these she's got three three course meals for her dog. <laughs> and it's, of you know, course. it's absolutely She's got true. multiple personalities. It's a tragedy. Yeah, she has. All this Gemini, time. you see. Gemini. Yeah. And I have to say, Don't start. And I'm walking. Talking. <laughs> talking about honey, darling. Yeah. Honey, my yeah. doggy, called Honey, woke me up at four o'clock this morning licking my face. Oh, and no. Yes, I thought it was about seven or eight in the morning, which is the normal time. <laughs> And I looked at my watch, oh, it was four o'clock. Oh, so okay. um, I was not pleased. But anyway, I did go back to sleep eventually. She calmed down, you know, but <laughs> that's honey for you. That is honey. Oh, Sherry, now I need to ask, because I haven't asked you this for ages, how is Teddy going on his vegetarian diet? Yeah. Well, he's not really. I mean, oh. I uh, he only really likes, which is weird, um, sesame bagels. Oh. So I'm finding that a really difficult diet for a dog because he's not getting any vitamins. But he yeah. also likes cream cheese or actually any cheese. So that, that, that can't be vegan then. In the morning, bagels and cheese. Vegetarian, but yeah. I know, but that's, he, th that's wrong for a dog, isn't it? Well, does he, I thought he liked broccoli and stuff. It, well, it, I, I'm t I, every day I try him on something different. And he'll like because he's so fussy. He go, he go, and then he goes, <laughs> and that's it. And then, then he goes and gets in his bed and covers himself in his blanket, goes under his blanket, doesn't come out. Oh. And I said I had a word with him last night because I said to him, Do "You know, Teddy, if you're not going to eat, you're going to starve to death. So this is your choice now: starve yeah. to death or eat what I give you." And I've got three bowls here one has got chopped up little baby uh, potatoes one has got crackers and cheese and one has got his like his you know the biscuits you buy for dogs those dried things yeah nothing nothing won't have any of it oh why is it why is he vegetarian darling well because he doesn't like any meat at all or chicken oh. or anything nothing. and what about fish does he do fish no won't touch fish well, Beanie but, loves, yeah. they see Beanie likes broccoli and carrots, all tiny, chops yes. up really, really tried that. Oh. Yeah, I tried that, but then yeah. he farted for England. Well, that's Ooh. the thing. I mean, he that. never stopped. It was like every time it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I can't Are have you, that. Darling, well, people come. Well, they darling, you right. can't, Cherry, you can't keep blaming the dog, darling. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, it's quite good having a dog, isn't it? When you're, you know, yes. when you're with in company, when, because you can blame. Oh, I see. Every time, yeah. every time. <laughs> anyway, I think when there's time, the waftage. Fantastic guest of the day. Yes. Uh, this man, I, how do we describe him? Probably a heartthrob from, from, from what I can remember, really. Probably my first television. Very tall, on. very tall, Debbie. Oh, yes. Very probably, handsome. Very tall, very tall, very handsome. He was tall. Debonair. Now he is a silver fox. And I think he possibly could even be even more handsome. What do you think? Who knows? Yes. Anyway, it is. All of you ladies, I was going to say, get control of your bra straps. I don't think that. <laughs> don't, don't tell him that. <laughs> All of you Please ladies. Please don't. We have the most wonderful, gorgeous, 
fabulous friend of all of us, Mr. Simon Williams. Sam, are you there? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. thank you. Yeah. Didn't know you cared, darling. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow, Simon, what fantastic. Are we in a vase? What are you doing? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> darling, it looks like, darling, if I may, it looks like a bush. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, well, yes. Be better for mm -hmm. Christmas. I thought they looked rather, rather good. They're lovely. Very they look fruity. amazing. There we are. <laughs> the oh, lovely. It's so lovely to you to see, to be asked to see you and your bush on the show. <laughs> I've also got one of those desks that goes up and down, so you can go up like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> darling, it looks like you're... You're hiding behind a hedge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Love that. Is it remote? Is oh, it a remote guest? Hello. Yeah. I need to ask you a very important question. I've always known you as Sam, but yes. are you Sam or are you Simon? I thought at first, when I first met you and everyone was calling you Sam, they were actually calling you Simon, but very poshly. Well, <laughs> um, I was christened Simon, but I've always been called Sam. So um, it's quite useful to have two names because if somebody says to my family, oh, I, Simon's a really good friend of mine. I, you know, I've known him for years. They know that that's not really true because anyone ah. that I've really known for years who, who, who was a friend always calls me Sam. I love to be called Sam. I love the name. Please, everybody call me Sam. <laughs> Unless you don't Thank know you. me. Okay. So Sir. we've had we've had some very interesting as escapades. Escapades. That's a very interesting thing to say. Escapades. Escape. And we, the, the funniest one was probably seeing you at a speed awareness course. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to avoid eye contact quite a lot. Oh, they're so boring. I mean, I know. And we were so naughty. We were really naughty. Yeah. And I felt so sorry for the other people that were in the room with us because it's like every time anybody said anything, we were on the floor. And I mean, you can imagine, I don't know how we ended up at the same one. <laughs> I think we've both been traveling too fast on the same yeah. stretch of road. I was in a terrible hurry to get away, but he, he, oh God, it went on a bit. It did. We had great fun. But listen, darling, a lot of everybody knows you as an actor with all of the wonderful things that you've done. But I want to talk about your plays because you've written quite a lot of plays. Mm -hmm. I wish you'd been in one or two of them, actually. Yes, so do I. Well, my daughter was in one of them recently. Which one? Which, oh, don't you remember at Windsor when David directed oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My God, yes, of course. Yes. Yes. Kiss of Death, Double Death, something yes, like that. Yes, Kiss of Death. Yes. Yes, good. They've all got is, catchy is it, titles. Sorry. And this is one of you wrote, <laughs> darling, so you remember. Yes. Uh, well, I've written so many. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it, it, writing and acting are, are sort of two halves of the uh, alternate sides of the same coin. Because when you're acting, you have to speak other people's words and, and you have to sort of follow the text. But when you're writing, you're free to be anywhere, do anything, say anything. You know, you invent people's names and characters and you can pop them into bed with other people and kill them off and do anything you like. Wonderful. So what, what is your what was your first play, Simon? Which is the first one that you wrote? The first one was called Nobody's Perfect, which I did with Mary Watson and Stephanie Beecham. And that that travels around the world. It's it's done every single European capital. It's just about to open in Russia. They wow. want to make a film of it in Russia. It's a little rom com. Which you be very, very good in. You've got one coming up soon, haven't you, as well? well? I've got a new, rather a rather touching little um, um, middle-aged, uh, 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 about a middle-aged couple who um, sort of love story, that, a three-handed love story that Bill Kenwright is, um, I hope, will do in the spring or the autumn or any season he chooses. <laughs> um, it's a sweet little play and we've had some readings of it. it uh, Are you going to do it, Simon? Would you be in it? No, I'm a little bit too old. Um, a little bit too old. It should be sort of, uh, no, I'm too old. But I, also, it's terribly difficult. I've been in plays I've written, and it's um, it's quite self-conscious because sometimes you're sitting in the middle of a scene and you're thinking, I should rewrite this. I could move. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Steph used to say, oh, you were, you were the writer tonight, listening to the play and rewriting it. You weren't really in it. It's very difficult to, to take off your writing hat when you're being an actor. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure it is. Uh, Simon, I want to ask you about the Archers. Oh, yes, so the Archers. Justin, I mm. mean, he's now living in sin, but he's obviously going to marry her, isn't he? That's what I, I think. I love, I love Sonny Ormond, who plays um, yes. Lillian. And, um, of course, we share the dog, Ruby. Um, 
we did we very nearly got married a couple of years ago but then we decided to to declare undying love and stay together in the dower house but i've since behaving rather badly i've had i've had a bad run lately he's been up to no good with um employing um some dodgy um workmen as you, uh, spoiler alert um <laughs> no he's been involved in the slave story he? do you love so, being in the arches has it always been a favorite of yours it's always strange doing a series, and Debs, you've done so many, you probably know, but you never know where your character's going. You know, yeah. it's not like going on, on a ride, a mystery tour. Um, so suddenly the writers take against you and you become villainous and absent and all the things you dread. <laughs> and then you get a writer who really sees the point of you and you suddenly got some nice stuff to do. You never know where you're going. Um, I listen so to your um, love scene. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I mean, I've done lots of radio plays, so I don't know why I'm saying this. And I thought, how did they, are they kissing each other or are they kissing their hands? Or? Yeah, we're, going, we're both all set. We're Go. going, oh, oh, oh darling. Oh, like You're giving Terrible. the secrets away. <laughs> my fav my favourite is, is what they use for. Um, for, for, for the sound of a gate opening, a farm gate. They use an old ironing board in the studio. They open and close it. It sounds just like a creepy. Really? Oh, I love that. <laughs> well, I think you're fabulous. And I think you should my, stay my forever. My favourite part of the love scene, the bed scene, uh, yeah. was, was when, because they have prop man doing all the sound effects, uh, I had to qu quickly get out of bed with Lillian and they had a prop man there with a, with a pair of trousers trying to operate me the zip doing the zip effect. So I was getting up and speaking the lines, and he was he was frantically pulling a zip up on a pair of trousers. <laughs> oh, it's a God, that's funny. Funny. Now we see each other every year because we do a wonderful gig at yeah. the Ivy restaurant yeah. when we become waiters. I tend to put myself behind the bar and pour lots of champagne for people. You play the um, superbly. It's a big departure for me, but thank you. Yes, it, it's taken a long time to get there. Um, but we have such fun there, don't we? And, and darling, what is your character? Because we actually wait on people, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, uh, having sort of kicked off my career um, playing in the upstairs, downstairs, it's quite good for people to see me um, actually being <laughs> in the, the servant class. Downstairs. So, um, yeah. It's a, it's a wonderful event because it raises money for acting for others because everyone <laughs> imagines that actors all live life of Riley, but a lot of us, um, a lot of actors and people associated with theatre um, have quite hard times. So it's good to know that um, the profession that looks after so many other charities every now and then looks after its own. And that's yeah. one of the events at the Ivy that, that is It is, great. isn't it? Yeah, it's glorious yes. fun. The really big um, stars um, just sit there and drink champagne, don't they? I know, we've, ser we've served Sir Ian, <laughs> Derek Jacobi, well, You and I, we talk about Dame with Judy. Campaign. Yes, yes, we do, darling. Um, we do. It'd be lovely to go to an event where Judy wasn't, isn't it? She's everywhere. Such, She's like a rat. Yeah, everywhere. And, uh, and with and Ram, I think Ram, you can't get rid of them. I've got a plug about Judy. I, I, I'm doing an interview with her on July the 25th online from the mill at Sonny. So if anyone wants to buy a ticket to that. Oh, oh definitely. Yes. Oh, yeah. So what's That's the interview? Amazing. Just inter interviewing Dame Judy. Tell us about it. Well, we, I, we, we, we did one a couple of years ago and uh, she, she came out with some, some wonderful material. I even got her to sing Bring on the Clients. Um, oh. We've been asked to do it again and, and it's going to go online this time to try and raise money for the, the mill. So. Sam, mm. I hear, talking about singing, I hear that you're very, you know, musical and you love dancing and you do a mean jive, apparently. Oh. Is this true? It is one of the unkind things that God has done to me. He's given me a great <laughs> love of singing um, and a terrible tone deafness at the same time. <laughs> me too. When I, when I did a musical called uh, Playing Our Song, the critic said, someone should tell Simon Williams that pitch is not something you put on broken roads. <laughs> yeah, How mean is that? The, the, the MD in the pit, were, were, he'd, every time I'd go for the high note, he'd just go. <laughs> Like that. Oh no, but, but you're I love, dancing, don't you? Make up, yes, you make mm. up with your dancing, don't you? Well, not really, no. Um, oh. I, again, I love dancing, but I'm I'm not terribly well coordinated. I, I did um, a play of Alan Bennett's a couple of years ago, and Arlene Phillips did the choreography. 
And she said, um, with you, I've got as near to giving up as I've ever got. <laughs> we, we won't be seeing you on Strictly then, Sam. You will not, no. There's no. all kinds of things you won't be seeing me on, no. <laughs> I won't be seeing any of those cookery programmes either. No. <laughs> no. But you know that Debbie not. doesn't cook either, you know? I'm sure she does. She, she only for her dogs. She does only for her dogs. Yeah. It's, it's a four-letter word that we're not allowed to use on this show, the C word. <laughs> Cook, no darling. Oh, yes. yes. Cook. Lord, yes. Yes. Simon, because do you not cook at all, darling? Do you not cook? I, I, I'm very good at sort of nursery food. Um, <laughs> but there are certain things that, darling Lucy Fleming, who I'm luckily to be married, I'm married to, she's very delicate about when she opens presents for me. She's very sweet the way she says, Did you keep the receipt? Um, <laughs> And the same, the same with my cooking. She says, "Did you actually use any salt?" You know, these. <laughs> yeah. when she uses the kindly voice that I really know I've messed up. So, um, so is is cheese sense. on toast your kind of as good as it gets? Well, that's a little bit better than that sometimes. I, I'm, <laughs> I like to mess about with risotto. Oh, <laughs> we can't talk about that on, on, on the show, darling. We I'm never so discuss sorry, was... risotto. Oh, old actor likes to mess about with risotto. No, yes. Yeah. That was <laughs> too much. We haven't, yeah. we, haven't mentioned, we haven't mentioned upstairs, downstairs, and we really should, because it, it's still so much in everybody's hearts, isn't oh, it? Yes. It's, did, you, did you really love doing it, Sam? I absolutely love doing it. There we are. Oh, oh. Upstairs. <laughs> now he's downstairs. Downstairs. Now, he's, uh, now, down. now he's upstairs. Coming upstairs. There we go. <laughs> so good. Have you got a standing up desk? That's so good for you. You must get one. Um, upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. yeah, what a lovely thing that was. Oh, yeah. brilliant. I have a picture of James Bellamy here for you. Oh, um, oh wow. Oh, That's gosh. heavenly. Absolutely, I'd still watch upstairs, downstairs. You I know? do too. And do you too. keep in touch with anybody at all, Simon? Well, I'm afraid a lot of them. I need a. Um, you know, a lot of them have gone. Um, I know. John and Pauline, I keep in touch with, of course. Oh, I love. And Jackie yeah. Tong, Chris Beanie died oh, last yes. year. Oh yes, Chris did. Yes. A lot of them have passed away. You know. Yeah. How, how many years time. did you do it for, Sam? I think it was five. Five. Mm. But it was, it, it was a real show. time in those days because television was, was sort of like halfway between film and theatre. You yeah. rehearsed it like a play. Yes. It felt pretty live and pretty urgent and, and very frightening for cameras moving about. Yeah. It's much easier. Yeah. Now, you know, yes. Like, like so, yeah. Sam, are there any parts that you haven't done that you would like to do? I'd love to have done. I'm just so pigeonholed. It's, it's, it's very exciting to look at the very diverse world we now live in, in terms of casting. Um, and everybody who, like me, who was sort of pigeonholed and, and not cast or typecast, it's much freer now. So I never got to play any of the Chekhov roles I'd love to play. And I've done very little mm. Shakespeare. You know, I've been sort yeah. of limited to kind of, um, sort of 20, 20th century writers, Coward and Rattigan and Anna Bennett and, and Oh, wonderful, but um, but quite quite a narrow canon, I think they call it. So, uh, yeah. do you do you prefer do you prefer theatre or television or film, or do you like them all the same? Such a tart. I always sort of prefer the one I'm not doing if I'm working. <laughs> <in the laughs> yes. I know. You know what no, I mean? mean. Telly is lovely. They send a car and they put the makeup on and they tell you to go <laughs> home. Yeah. And, and you only have to say four lines. There you go. Yeah. I think you should do a Doctor Who. Sam, I think you should do a Doctor Who. You I did, could play I did, a villain. A villain. Definitely a villain. Yeah. I think that's a nice thing. Yes, I could be. Yeah, I'll have a word with, with um, Mark Gatiss about that. See if I can get yes. in there. Good or idea. a serial killer. I could see you as a serial Ooh. killer. I'm not sure with how that to take that, 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 that Murder. Murder mystery. Yeah. Good. Yes, we're um, <laughs> going to cast you as a Wonderbird serial killer somewhere. Serial oh, killer. Yes. I did go through a period of being murdered quite a lot on television, midsummer murders. <laughs> and, kinds of things. and there was one, one lovely note I had from the director. I was lying there, oh, dead with the blood and everything. And um, we were sort of fooling around between takes. And he says, I'm, could I just ask you to be a bit deader, please? <laughs> one of the best notes I've had. I thought, 
to be a <laughs> Oh, your so career. Mm, it'd be dead at people. Oh. oh, that's, that's so very funny. funny. That's brilliant. I'm dying to see you as a gangster, darling. And I, yes. a little birdie tells me that you, you play a, a very good gangster. Oh, on really? One, oh. um, unknown um, video that we saw. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. A little birdie yeah, not far birdies, from here, actually. Are... I've got must track down who this little birdie is that you've been talking to about. <laughs> that little tweet, tweet birdie. He is a gangster. <laughs> oh, I saw a good thing last night. My goodness me, what was it called? Um, with uh, Brian Cranston. Um, the uh, Your Honor, wonderful new drama series. Watch it. Oh, is it good? So good. Ooh, yeah, yeah, absolutely fabulous. First episode last night. Oh, thank watch you. That. Watch that. We'll get we'll it on catch that. up. Thank you. Yeah, yes. great. Good. I look. I thought, I thought it looked a bit frightening when I saw the sort of you know the trailer of it. It, it yes. frightened me a little bit. I get a bit frightened by things. Oh, mm. darling, get the dog on a lap and a gin and tonic in your hand. You'll be all right. Oh. <laughs> darling, that's her standard. That's Thank you. Not new. <laughs> cool. Thank I'm you, Uncle you. Sam. Well, listen. I, I, I hope you're not. Uh, how are the grandchildren? They must be huge they're, now. They're all fine. Um, my my son had COVID a few weeks ago. He's got four oh. children. Oh, he began to say he'd lost his sense of smell, and I said, "With, with four teenagers in the house, isn't that a blessing?" You know. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he's oh, better. Is he all right yeah, now? They're all fine. Yeah, they're all going quite, yeah. quietly crazy. Yeah, but, um, they're all fine. Yeah, time. But I remember when they were all little, when they were all tiny, and you were the, you'd love you love little ones, don't you, Sam? You love being oh, a, love a grandpa from heaven. Yeah. Yes, I just. Yeah, how many have you got now? A two. Two. Oh. It's 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 heavenly to hold them in your hand and then <laughs> have them off again. Mm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> bye -bye. <laughs> Here's a small check. Bye bye. Lucy. Talk to us about talk to us about Lucy. Oh, Lucy. Oh. Yes. How long have you been married? I don't know. Here she is. <laughs> She's on my desk. She's oh, oh very, lovely. Thirty odd years. She seems to be a very tolerant kind of woman, really, and she's very patient. <laughs> She brings out all the worst in me, really. But, um, my <laughs> impatience. In, I'm, I'm terrible at DIY and cooking, and I've got awful taste. But I, I just can't think what she's doing with me, really. But, <laughs> I mean, really probably she quite likes you. I can't yeah. Think, yeah. She she groans when I, my jokes. She says she's heard that one before. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, no. It's. it's it must be horrible for her. It's lovely yeah. for me being married to her. But it's yeah. really, really you do, you her. do make her laugh all the but time. I've some, and I've got some very, very unsavoury personal habits, obviously, <laughs> um, being a man. So, Maybe she just hasn't got anywhere to go, Sam. Maybe she thinks, well, where would I go? I can't well, leave him. I don't think it's a question of where she'd go. It's a question of where I'd go. Ah. <laughs> Have, you I have a homing device that takes me to the dog house, which is for quite grown used to. <laughs> I, I, I just don't know actually how people who live alone have got through this last year. I really cannot imagine. Well, we all live alone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We are talking well, to you. You all look really. very fine. You all got your lippy on and looking very good on it. We've all got dogs as well. I think that's that's yeah. how yeah. we survive. The good thing about having a dog is they, they don't they don't commandeer the remote in the evening, so you actually get to watch the things you want. True. That is true. And you don't, don't have to talk to them, really. No, don't. No, no. We love Shit's okay. Creek. Do you watch that? Yes. yes. Oh, love it. Love it. Oh, Isn't it my fabulous? Have you seen yeah. My Agent? Yes. The, the subtitles are a bit quick for me, and my French isn't quite good enough, so I'm always having to rewind a bit to catch it. But I catch up, yeah. yeah. Sam, will you tell us about your dog? My dog, um, well, as I said, he's not very bright. Um, oh. He's very, he loves me. And uh, he's, he's won every single battle, every single battle, not on the sofa. Okay, just on the sofa during the news, okay? <laughs> and then not up the stairs. Okay, up the stairs during the winter. And he just relentlessly <laughs> stood Um and, what kind uh, of dog is he? He's a cockapoo. Where is he? Gus? He's lovely. I haven't got a picture of him to hand, but he's, um, he's, he's sort of blonde. He looks like something that Carol Channing wore on her head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, if, if, if you were to ask me what the most frightening job I ever had, it yeah. would be doing just a minute sitting next to Clement Freud. Oh, really? Scary. 
Sounds scary. Oh. So let I mean be in it must be terrifying. Yes. Awful. You know, just when you think you're really on a roll, someone interrupts because you've yeah. repeated the word. Because you've hesitated or something, yeah. Hesitated. Is, it, is it still going on? Yeah. 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 I well, no, I think, I think, I think it is. Well, yes, it is. I, I heard yes, it on it Sunday. Is. Yeah, thank you. Who's in the chair now these yeah. days? It'll probably be Giles Bloody Bandreth again, won't it? Yeah, oh, probably will it be. Should yes. be you. Should be. Should be one of you. I don't think I can talk for a minute without non-stop. Don't say anything, I'm sure. <laughs> you can talk for an hour. Are you kidding You've done 20, yeah. years. You've done 20 years without stopping. I don't know. <laughs> oh! Oh, Sam Williams. Mm. Sam Williams, we love you. We I'm... love you. Please come back and see us too. Promise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love hey, you. Right, Honestly, right, you've been right, a real right, highlight. Right. It's been a real highlight to get you on the show. Bye. <laughs> Bye, darling. Bye, Thank you. Yes. Bye. 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 Delightful. The man really is really what a wonderful state. man. Yeah, that's absolutely why wonderful. Absolutely. absolutely. I know. Amazing. Who is coming in on Friday, darlings? Oh, it's the wonderful actress Casey Ainsworth. And Ooh. I can't wait. She's just gorgeous and, and she'll be such fun. And, uh, anyway, so Casey's coming in on Friday. Fabulous. Fantastic. She's lovely. Ooh. Yeah, lovely. And also we have Karen Mooney, who is a, a dating expert, who is uh, coming in to see us and uh, giving us a few uh, little dating tips. I hope ah. I said that right. <laughs> yes, dating tips. Yes, tips. I think okay. we've, got our, we've got the rest. We don't need it anymore. Thank you. Well, at least I don't. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bye, girls. Bye. 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 Bye.